Howard Klisk, you have three new voice messages. Message one, from Drew Ashbury at Bourne University. Howie, it's Drew. How are things? Great? Good? <laughs> Still shitty? Listen, did you start grading the papers? I know you're under the weather, but we need them graded by next Friday. Sorry to put you on the spot, but there was a hiccup with the network and some dates got switched. Fucking school board gives half the budget to the fucking soccer brats, I swear. Anyway, I know you haven't been doing so well, but, well, it's your job. As much as it is, anyway. Uh, goodbye, I guess. End of message. Message to, from Tim Moran. Hey, Howard, it's me. How are things down there? Halliston feels like a thousand miles from here. Well, I guess the distance between Halliston and Kansas is like 1,648 or whatever. Is everything still there? The Apex, novel ideas. Is that little donut shop? I can't remember the name. Is that still there? Damn, I wish I was there. The kids have been having nightmares, so they keep waking me up in the middle of the night. And something's been getting into the trash. Probably a raccoon. I hate those things. Uh, anyway, uh, I had something I wanted to tell you. What was it? Um, oh, I was also reading these stories. Uh, the events at Porath Farm and the Grey House. They're both terrifying. I know it's past Halloween, but maybe next year you could show it to your class. I'm not honestly sure what the criteria is for your course, but I'm sure your students have already read all the Poe and Lovecraft. I'll send you a PDF when I get the chance. Oh, damn. The kids want something. I'll see you later. Call me back. Bye. End of message. Message 3. From North Halliston Assisted Living Center. Hi. It's Alice. I'm sure you probably don't want to talk to me, and I get it, I really do. But I just wanted to let you know that, well, I'm in rehab. God, it was harder to say that than I thought it would be. I checked myself in on Tuesday. I took what you said to heart. I'm going to change. I am not bullshitting this time. I chucked my stash before I came here, flushed every bit of that garbage down the toilet where it belongs. I will never touch that shit again. It's mostly pretty quiet here. I've been reading and thinking about what I did. I'm going to be seeing a therapist about it and get my head on straight. Why the fuck am I bothering with this if no one is going to hear? I don't know if you want to hear it now, but I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry for what I did. I'm a worthless piece of shit, and I fucked my life up, and I hurt you, and no words will ever be enough. But there it is. I'm sorry. Shit, I, I gotta go. Goodbye, Howard. Howard Klisk, you have two new messages. Message one from Drew Ashbury. Damn, son, when you get shit done, you get shit done. This is some thorough grading, man, and wild slick, too. I wish you were back here, man. Those fucking kids, I swear, they come in every flavor of asshole. I don't know how you managed to get them to shut up. I really don't. Maybe you're just some kind of hypnotist. <laughs> Anyways, did you hear what's been happening over... Message deleted. Message to from Tim Moran. Hey, buddy, just calling in to check up on you. Sorry, I was in a rush and got dizzy. How are you? Oh, he lives then. <laughs> well, I, I was just calling in to ask how you were doing, and share some news, and shoot the breeze. Uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, did you get the PDF? Uh, yeah, it it's pretty good so far. Anything your class might like? Uh, maybe. I'll pass him by the dean and see what she thinks. <laughs> good luck with that. Uh, anyways, how are you doing? How's Halliston? How's how's the house? Now, uh, to answer the last two questions first, both are nice. Town is way larger than I seem to remember it being. Someone tore down the old mall, put up an even bigger one. There's some gigantic electronics emporium near the outskirts. Novel ideas and the apex are both still around, thank God. But the plaza's gone, and so is the donut shop. The house is pretty big, so it's got ramps and a stairmaster, so I can feel about 80 years older. <laughs> pretty noisy out here, though. I thought I'd be way quieter, that the woods are alive, it's like there's a melody for each part of the day. It's even louder at night. Animals are obnoxious. I don't mind it. 
As for me, I'm feeling a bit better. I'm, I'm coming off the painkillers in a few days, and I'll admit there's a part of me that goes, Wee! Every time I go down a ramp, <laughs> I feel like... I felt like garbage on Monday, though. That's why I didn't call you. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be going rough for a while, but hey, at least you're doing better. Right? <sighs> yeah. Something wrong? I... I, uh... I got a call from Alice on Monday. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, that bitch has some fucking balls. Did you call someone? Tell her to fuck off? Please tell me you told her to fuck off. No, no, I... I just... Let the message play. I didn't call her back, though. Howard, come on. I know, I know, okay? It's just that she sounds so... Sincere, you know? She's checked herself into rehab. And oh, she's bullshitting you. I have caller ID. It said it said that the call came from North Halliston Assisted Living Center. She could have snuck in, called you, and then left. I looked the place up. It's, it's pretty high-end. The Ritz of Rehab Centers. Some of the best security around, you know? You can't just sneak okay, in. Okay, okay, fine. But rehab's not guaranteed to help her. I know that. It's just... It's just that we were together for so long, she started off so perfect. You know, she was funny and smart. She could, she could kick ass. She worked out. She liked the same stuff I did. And then I started seeing these holes in the the crook of her elbows. You know, and then she she just started she started to wither. I, she just she started to rot. Listen, and now I... all, all people do is share those fucking obnoxious, stupid, motivational memes with me on Facebook, and suddenly, people I haven't talked to in years start coming out to tell me that they're with me, and I'm in their thoughts, even though none of us have spoken in years. I'm pretty sure one of my old high school bullies told me that he'd started a, a prayer chain for me. It's, it's so... It's all so tiring. <sighs> I'm sorry, And they keep telling me all the things they wish they could do to her to get back at her. One of my cousins said they wished that they could tie her hands and feet to different cars and pull her apart. Howard. No, and my dad called her a twat. Can you believe that? I never heard my dad say anything worse than damn, and he calls he, he calls her that where everyone can read it. I mean, it was bad what happened, okay? But I I feel like everyone's just using it as an excuse to act out, you know, like, like kids. Howard. It's not enough that I still have nightmares about it, but everybody's got to remind me of it. It's it's just how... how I just want to get on with my life. Is that so much to ask for? I just... You know, I... Howard, calm down. I'm just... I'm just so tired. You know, I just want to... I just want to curl up and go to sleep and not wake up until everything's better. But I can't. Have you talked to anyone? Yeah. Yeah, I got a physical therapist and a normal... Run-of-the-mill psychologist. Both are okay, I guess. Apparently, I'll... I'll get better with time. But right now, I'm just... I'm not doing well. Do you want me to call you later? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think that's best. I think I'll just watch some... Something colorful and stupid on TV until I pass out. Alright. See you later, bud. Yeah, you too. Yeah? Hey, I'm sorry if I'm waking you up, but have you seen the news? No, why? How close are you to Alden and Aiden? Oh no, like uh, 13 miles or so, why? Is the house you're staying at near the wilderness? Uh, yeah, I can see trees outside my window right now. What? What's going on? There is a huge wildfire going on right now. What? Where? Well, how, how close is it? I can't find out where it started, but that whole ridge between Aiden and Alden is up in flames now, and it's spreading pretty quickly. Holy shit. Uh, hold on. It's updating in real time. It says that firefighters from Greenvale, Barrister, and Halliston are starting to arrive with a bunch of people from the park rangers and fish and wildlife. This is... Damn. Howard? Howard, are you there? I... I can see it. it it's far off, but the, the sky, it, it's so bright, it's like 
like sunrise. I can see all the the ash in the air. God, it's it's blocking the moon. What the hell? What the hell's happening up there? It's like it's like you need to get out of there, Howard. I know you don't want to, but I think it'd be a good idea. Wildfires spread really fast. I I know. Is anyone there with you? Not right now. Good. Listen, I, I know you don't want to leave the house right now, but you need to. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I guess I guess I'll be facing the outside world sooner than I thought. Uh I hope it gets put out before it does some serious damage. Howard Klisk, you have three new messages. Message one from Central Halliston Assisted Living Center. How shit. Uh, Howard, it's me. Are you okay? The fire's been getting everyone real panicked around here. It was crazy. I heard people talking about evacuating everyone. My roommate just started screaming and clawing at the door. She didn't stop, so they had to restrain her. It was like the end of the world. I know you're closer to it than we are. I need to hear back from you. I know I'm sounding crazy and stalkerish, but the fire's spreading and I just want to know if you're okay. Call me back. Please. Message 2 from Drew Ashbury. Message deleted. Message 3 from Tim Moran. Hey, I saw your Facebook post. I didn't know that the cloud's been bothering you. But starting a flame war and cussing teenagers out just makes things worse. I think you need to take it easy. Get back off of the internet, or at least that part of it. I really don't think social media is the distraction you need right now. It'll blow over soon. It's just some ash in the sky. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Howard Klisk, you have one new message. Message one from Central Halliston Assisted Living Center. They're not dead, Howard. They can't die. Not ever. You're close to it. Very close. You have to leave. Run. Don't walk. Run as fast as you can. Get to a place with clear skies and no people. A cold place or warm, doesn't matter. You probably won't live longer than a year or two, but neither will anyone else. Can you see it? I can. It's hanging from the sky like a tumor. All black and gray. I bet whoever started the fire thought that it would be over a few sparks and the infection gets cauterized, but they didn't see it. When it first came out, when the air hit its body, I guess, when it moved and then it started to mate and join and sting and embrace everyone and I ran and I ran and I ran and... Do you know that all the Earth's a living thing? We're just little mites living on one big fat organ beating in a dead cosmos. We're not connected. We're all alone out here in the dark. Sometimes I... I dream about where it came from. I hate sleeping. End of message. Central Holliston Assisted Hello, Living. Hello, is Alice Evans available? Uh... I have to check. All right, um, let's see. Mrs. Evans is available. She's just finished her lunch. Do you want me to give her a message? I'd like, I'd like to talk to her personally, if that's all the same. Okay, hold please while I see if she's up to talking. Hello? Alice? Uh, Howard, how are you doing? Alice? Who the hell did you give my number to? I... what? Yeah, some crazy bitch called in the middle of a very restless night talking about dreams and the ash cloud and something not dying. Did you write my number down somewhere or have you been fucking with what? me from the I'm start? I'm not fucking with you. What are you even talking about? Did I stutter? Someone from this facility who wasn't you called me at four in the morning to yap about some, some horror movie nonsense. Did you tell someone last night? I spent last night puking my guts out because I'm going through detox, you asshole. I didn't get back until like 6, and by that time I was too tired to do anything more than sleep. And, also, I don't need to write your number down. You haven't changed it, and I lived with you for two years. Then who the hell got a hold of me last night? How should I know? Maybe they were picking random numbers She called me by name. Well, then... Wait a second. 
Did she mention anything about how the Earth is a big, living thing like an animal? She... She called it an organ. Who is she? Oh, shit. Lori Summers. She's my roommate. She's a special case. Got put in here after all the shit that went down in Aiden. You... No. No, you probably don't know. I heard I heard some things while I was in traction, okay? A lot of a lot of people disappeared there and in, in Aiden, right? Something like that? Yeah, no one's clear on what happened there, even this far on. I've heard it was a gas leak, a terrorist attack, something to do with a cult, but it's all muddled. Honestly, I only have listened to a lot of it, but it sounds like it was pretty serious. It sounds like it got a bunch of different government branches involved. And how was she involved? Lori is the only surviving person from Aiden. Apparently some cop found her in a college. She used to be pretty sane before this, which is kind of hard to imagine now, considering how she is now. Honestly, she creeps me out. You're lucky you only heard a little bit of that the earth is living and it can never die bullshit. I've had to listen to it every day. I'm... No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's fine. They'll be transferring her to a place where she can get proper help soon. She's pretty fucked up. Okay, but st still, how did she get a hold of me? Did you mention my name to her? She probably overheard me talking to you. She likes to spy on people. They've had to take some measures with her because of that. But there's no way she could have gotten your number from me. Alright. Guess I'll... Guess I'll have to talk to someone about their shitty security. God, she freaked me out. I'm sorry for being so accusing, okay? I'll see you later. Wait, um, how are you doing? Well, the wheelchair's comfy and I can get good parking spots now, although I, I haven't been out driving too much. Howard, I'm... Don't, okay? It... Well, I can't say it wasn't your fault, but you're trying to make it right. I'm just, I'm just not ready yet. All right, all right. It's gonna rain. I gotta go and make sure that the windows are all locked. I've been having bad dreams, and that cloud outside—it's not helping matters. It's, it's unsettling. I've seen a few bits of news about it online, but a lot of people are talking about it. All that. And then to get that call... She just... She scared me. She really scared me. Don't worry about it. She's just some crazy college kid. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'll... Call you later? You sure. Hello? Hey, uh, sorry to be a bother, but have you heard anything from Marissa? No, no, why? Well, she's been out for a few days and she never gave notice. The police have been called, and all of us here are asking around to see if anyone has seen her. Uh, no, I haven't seen her since I left. How, how, how did, where was she last seen? In her house. She tucked her kids in, then she was just gone. Oh my god. The police haven't been able to find anything of her. Are you sure she didn't contact you in any way before she... No, there was nothing. I'm sorry, I can't do more. It's fine. It was a bit of a long shot anyway. Look, I... Yeah. Uh, did Drew call you? No, why? One of my fellow teachers has gone missing. Wait, there too? What? We've had a few disappearances in Greendale. Oh my god. Who? A whole family, the McCarthys. They just vanished last night. All anyone found were some shoes, a shirt, stuff like that. God, it's just... I never really talked to them, but my son was friends with their son. He's pretty upset, and I have no idea what to tell him. Did Drew tell you anything? 
Has he found any of the people who went missing in Halliston? I, I've been checking online, following the news. Nothing's been found so far, but uh, the rescue party is going out to look for them. It's... It, it sounds kind of like what happened up in Alden. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I, I don't like it at all. Everything feels strange around here. I noticed it just this morning when I was out walking Marty. I don't really know what it is, but something feels wrong here. Maybe it's that fucking cloud. I was hoping you weren't going to mention it, but... Yeah, I, I think you're right. It's not normal. It feels like it's watching us. I think it's something deeper than that. It's been there for eight days. Eight days. It, it hasn't moved outward or been shredded by the wind or dispersed. All it's done is royal and shift on the inside, but it's it's held its shape. It's not natural. It It's not. And now it's gotten so quiet. You know, it used to be so damn noisy, so many different animals, but now I can only hear the trees moving. Maybe the rain mixed with something in the cloud and poisoned the animals. Maybe the, the cloud is some government bioweapon or a, or a, a poison gas. Then why hasn't anyone come and done something about it? I don't know, but something is wrong here. I, I want to see more. I need to see more. There's a huge electronic store in town. I, I've been there before, and it, it's got what I need. I got enough money. I'm going to go buy a drone, you know? I still have that GoPro that you got me for Christmas. I'm going to fly it up into the cloud, see if there's anything in there. Howard, are you sure that that's a good... Why am I even trying? I can't stop you. No, you can't. I'd wish you luck, but I don't really know what you'd count as lucky. I honestly hope that I don't find anything, but I need to see. The store's still open. I won't take... It won't take me too long to get there and back. I'll go rig the GoPro to it, and I'll, I'll get back to you probably tomorrow. All right. I'll see you later. Tomorrow. Hello? Hello, this is Tim Morin. Your husband and I are on the same teacher's board. Can I speak to him? No, he's not here. He's gone missing. Uh. You wouldn't know anything about where he is, would you? I... no. I'm sorry. All right. Goodbye. Central Halliston Assisted Living Center, how may I help you? Yeah, hi. Uh, is Alice... uh... uh shit. Uh, Evans. Is Alice Evans there? Yes, I believe so. May I ask who's calling? Timothy Morin. I'm a friend of Howard Klosky's. I need to speak with her right now. All right. Let me see. Tim? You remember me. Good. Uh, you've been talking to Howard, right? Have you come to warn me off him and threaten me? Because I've heard from you already, and I don't give a shit Has what he you... called you recently? Like, as in two days recently? No. If you're calling me, then... Does that mean you haven't heard from him either? No, no, he hasn't. Fuck. All right, I'm driving up there. Wait, what's happened? Nothing. Don't pull that shit with me. I know that people are going missing again. Oh, God, you don't really think that he's gone missing too? I don't know, but I need to go and... What the hell? What's that? What's going on? I don't know. It came from the lunchroom. I came to my room to have some fucking privacy, and now there's another fucking riot! Alice? Everyone's looking out the windows here. Something's happened. There's something outside. Hold on. What the hell? What? What's going on? There is something out there. A bat? No. <sighs> Describe it! I think it's got wings. It's sort of clinging to the far wall. It, it looks like some kind of sheet or a quilt, but I saw it move just now. It does have wings. I just saw one open, but it can't be a bird, and it's way too big to be a bat. An insect? What is it? Does the phone you have have a video camera? No, it opened a wing again. It's all red inside. I can't see ahead. Wait. One of the nurses is going out there with a broom. Oh, what the hell is she doing? Get away from that thing, you dumbass! You. What happened, Alice? Alice! <gasps> 
What's happening? It flew with her, wrapped around her, and it just took off with her. It's got extra wings. It just lifted her up, and that was it. She screamed, but but it was all choked and muffled. I think it was smothering her somehow. What the fuck kind of animal can do that? There's something on the roof. Get out of there, Alice! What the fuck do you think I'm doing? There's a basement. I'm headed there now. I gotta... They're coming in through the window. I can see. Alice! Tim Moran, you have one new message from Howard Klisk. Hey Tim. I thought I'd be more frightened than I am now. And I, I was frightened. I was so... so afraid that I thought that my brain would just give out like something out of Lovecraft, you know? Just give up the ghost, go crazy. But right now, I'm just... tired. I feel so drained, like I'm back on the IV drip. Maybe I have gone crazy. Be my luck. Maybe I got so scared that I hit some kind of apex, like I, like I took one step beyond the limit for human fear, and now my mind just, just doesn't know what to do. <laughs> and now I can't shut up. I've, I've monologued like this since the crash, but I know what happened has rekindled a bit of the old me. Okay. I, I got lucky. I saw something in the ash cloud. I got the drone, I rigged the GoPro to it, and I piloted it up into the damn thing. The morning after, I called out. I couldn't sleep the night before. I wanted to do it then, but there was... There was no light out, so I waited. It looks... So much worse in the light. On a bright blue day, it's so fucking ugly, like a tumor floating in the sky. I still can't believe everyone could just look away from it and pretend that, that nothing was wrong. Like it, like it was just going to go away even though it, it behaved the way that it did. I flew the drone up and in. It took me a few tries, but I did it. It was dark and thick and smoky for a few dozen feet, just whirling ash, but then there was light. It was so jarring, I almost thought that it was... It was my overtired, overstressed mind messing with me, but no. No, there was a, a hollow, a, a clearing in the cloud, probably at the center. There was... There was lightning, thin little bolts of purple and blue lightning, always flowing through the darkness, lighting up the massive space, and there was... There were things in the space. I, I don't even know what they were. There, there were so many of them. That at first they looked like leaves being blown around in a storm, but as I flew the drone closer, I saw them more clearly. They were... They had wings, like bats or, uh, or, or uh, manta rays. And bodies like... Like quilts or sheets or... Some kind of sea-bottom fish. They were, t they were flying to and from something, swarming like bees around the hive. It was huge, whatever it was, so big that I wondered how it could stay up there, as huge as it was. I flew closer, and one of the flying things moved past the camera. I saw the, the underside of the thing, Tim. It was... It was... red, like... like an, like an infected sore, and it had lips. Human lips. They were moving. I saw teeth... And then it was gone. I wondered if I'd had the sound on, would I have heard them all talking? I don't know why I didn't turn it off and just let it drop. I really don't. It felt like my body wasn't my own. Like I wanted to keep going while my mind was telling me to stop. I flew closer and then I saw some, some of the, the, the thing. I, I can't parse it. I don't. I don't fucking understand what it was. It it looked like something organic, but also something mechanical, or or neither, or both. Maybe, maybe it was both. Yeah, 
It was a perfect sphere. Its surface was all tangled like a ball covered in jigsaw pieces and string. It has this sort of slick, moist look like, a, like an organ, but it was made up of moving parts like an animatronic. The flyers were carrying animals and the, they, they were carrying things to it, but I never saw where they put them, but whatever they were doing made the, the thing ripple like a water balloon. There were holes in parts of it, like ports or, or pop cysts. I, I think I saw... I think I, I, I saw fingers around the rims of them, like... like anemones. There were things crawling into it, not flyers, different things. They looked like spiders or, uh, or ticks, human... Human heads with hands grafted to the necks. Human heads and animal parts pressed together, dragging themselves along on their intestines and ribs. I've never... It's... It's impossible. None of them should have existed. That... That kind of thing is just not... It's not possible, but I saw them, Tim. I... I saw them. They are... They are real. They were breathing and panting and twitching. What kind of... What kind of thing can do that, Tim? What kind of thing takes a, a human and an animal apart and sews them together and keeps them al alive? I swear the heads were crying. I, I got... I got even closer. Something grabbed the hold of the camera and yanked it. It... It was a hand with dark skin and a wedding ring with a... with a... with a diamond in the center. I saw the, the screen flicker and then the space that I... that I could see was full of these things grabbing and biting and they tore the drone apart and they let the GoPro drop and I... I lost some time after that. I, I'm glad I did. I know I screamed because my throat... my throat's torn to shit right now. I cried, my eyes ache, and now I'm just... Tired. Tired and confused. After I finish this, I'm gonna call Alice, I'm gonna tell her I forgive her, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call my mom too, I'm gonna tell her I love her, and I'm... I'm in the basement now, I brought some food with me, but it won't last. I didn't... I didn't want them to come for me, but they have. They've broken in by now. I can hear them slithering up the walls, flapping around up there. Maybe, they, maybe they've got through the door. Maybe they'll, they'll get in through the, the lift shaft. Maybe not. Maybe they'll just lift the house off its foundation. I want you to know that... I want you to know that I'm really thankful from the bottom of my heart for all the help that you've given me. For sticking with me and helping me through the years, you're the, you're the only person I ever, I ever really thought of as a genuine friend. Bye bye, Tim. I'm so sorry for getting lucky. Nine one one. What's your emergency? My garden is full of meat and pods. Pods with hairs. My cat got taken by one. My cat got That's taken by one. Fuck me. Please, just, no. just crash outside of town. It, it was on fire. Dude. They're getting through. Look at my house. I can hear them move. This year's 13-day Halloween countdown is in support of Dark Places, Evil Faces, a new collection brought to you by PS Publishing and features New York Times bestsellers, some of horror's most prolific authors, and Vincent Venacop. <laughs> Sales of the book Dark Places, Evil Faces goes to the Macmillan Cancer Support. It's a charity based out of the UK that gives aid to people and families suffering from cancer. So, this Halloween, I hope you all enjoy the stories and... I hope we can do some good in the world. Sweet dreams. Hey there, kids. It's me, Mr. Creepypasta. I hope you enjoyed tonight's story, and thank you all for listening. 
Please help support the channel at patreon.com slash mrcreepypasta and make sure to tune in for new horror stories every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. Many of the horror authors that I've worked with throughout this channel have all come together to work on one big book series, The Creepy Pasta Collections Volume 1 and 2. Check them out on Amazon or at any local bookstore near you. Thanks for listening, kids, and sweet dreams. <laughs>